That's also true. I have a few in my hands. Thank <laughs> you. My name is Mayana, so I'm part of the Princeton Bug Eating Club. Um, so this right here is a cicada. You've probably seen, been seeing like a bunch of these guys around here. And basically, uh, we're trying to figure out ways that we can um, make them into delicious recipes. I actually ate a few of them already. I think, honestly, it's a humane way to get protein and like have a really, really cool experience. I honestly suggest that everyone try eating bugs at least once. The way that we eat these cicadas is we catch them and then we freeze them. And it doesn't harm them at all. It's really just like anesthesia or taking a nap. And so they're dead by that point and it's like it's a really good thing in general in like the protein industry because compared to uh, like eating beef for example which causes a lot of like carbon this is just far 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 more environmentally like friendly and there's 1.5 million of these guys per acre the cicadas and so eating these guys really it's it's pretty cool I really would suggest it yeah. yeah, cicada smoothies. Anyone want to help me make them? Uh, I'll, I'll help you out. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Like protein powder? I make sure it's extra. <laughs> Add some more. Yeah, I'll be there soon. Okay. There we go. Okay, everyone want the first cup? I'll take it. Hey, nice. Brave man, brave man. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Alright. Damn, it's good. It is? Yeah. Hey, that's nice. And this was just kind of an opportunity to really highlight the importance of living sustainably. Um, of course, these cicadas are only going to be out once every 17 years, but the idea that we can actually use insects as a food source um, that pollutes much less than any of the other food sources that we would uh, normally uh, want to eat, and the fact that it's um, you know something that we don't normally see every day, but we are going to have to get more used to eating insects because um, as the population of the Earth continues to grow, protein sources are going to be harder and harder to raise. So really, insects are the solution to a lot of the world's problems, and that's what we're hoping to inspire the next generation to pursue. Mm, good, that's like banana bread. I'm in the courtyard. Oh, they tend to Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, so, so good. I guess, uh, yeah. Take in. I think my math is going to start Yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's going to be a big moment. I like there's that one comes together. Good stuff. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, we got stir fry over here. Stir fry, veggies, ginger, uh, some, some onions. You know, I'm, uh, this is like an old bag. It's got some sauce here. We'll be able to. Now, um, I think my favorite are either the cookie or the uh, the stir fried ones I made. Um, of course, it's not entirely objective because, because um, I didn't make I, I did make the stir fried cicada, but I would say it's extremely delicious. Yeah, I always thought of like most insects as cute. <laughs> Um, because we're the protein has uh, offices.